Hey guys, how you doing? It's me. Um, it's been a while since I did YouTube video. Um, just haven't really been feeling all that great. Kind of down in the dumps. Um, I, I, it, believe me, if I knew what was wrong with me, I would tell you, but I really don't. But today, um, I seen my girl, Miss MKB Lady, and she did a tag, and it was the girly tag. So I'm just laying down here, I'm not doing anything. And I just want to tell her that you looked marvelous in the video, darling. Yes, marvelous, simply marvelous. So I guess I will do the tag. Uh, the first question is, what is the number one rule you live by? My number one rule is you treat others the way you want to be treated. That is what I live by. and That's what I expect you know, people that are in my life to live by. Um, I'm going to be looking off because i got to read the questions. Um, what is your number one YouTube pet peeve? Um, just negativity. Um, what is your favorite pair of jeans? I got some truck jeans. I love those jeans. I wear those jeans like those are my just out and about casual regular type things. Um, what is a weird habit that you have when putting on your makeup? I gotta have music. I can't, it's like I can't do my makeup without having music. I don't know if it's weird or not, but that's just me. Um, what is your favorite lip gloss? One thing about me, I'm really weird when it comes to lip gloss. I don't like lip gloss. It, so I have plenty of them. Yes, I do buy them. But they feel just funny on my lips. I don't like that sticky feeling. I not really... I'm not really a lip gloss connoisseur. Um, what is your favorite lip liner? Um, I I wear lip liner every once in a while, but I mean nothing sticks out to me that's my favorite. My favorite lip moisturizer would be good old Vaseline or EOS Balm. Um. What is my favorite purse that seems to go with everything? I don't know. I don't have a favorite purse. I have a huge purse collection. I never wear the same purse every day. So, I guess. Um, the favorite purse that goes with everything is not wearing purses. It's my pocket. <laughs> um... What is an item that you own that you cannot live without? A brush. <laughs> Can't live without a brush. Um, who is your favorite actress? Mm, Carrie Washington, Angela Bassett. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I'm really not one to have favorites, like when it comes to actors, entertainers, musicians. I mean, I like everyone. I don't. It's not like just one person that is just my favorite. I don't know. That's just something weird about me. I don't really have favorites. Much favorites. You know what I mean? I'm just like equal opportunity all over. <laughs> if I like it, I like it. If I don't, then I just don't. Um, the next question is, what have, what have your thoughts been of lately? Getting off my ass, going down into my office, and being creative. But I just haven't really felt like doing anything, honestly. Just sulking. I mean, my husband's away for training. Maybe that's why, but I was feeling like that. I've been feeling like that the whole month of May. I had my mother here, and she was... So when she left, it was like, I just need to rest type thing. 
um, what is something about you that you have changed over the years? Um, not to be afraid to do what I want to do and stop always taking other people's consideration over mine. Just doing what I want to do to be happy. I don't, and not giving a damn about what somebody else thinks. Um, what item do you not have enough of in your wardrobe? T-shirts. Like, I have T-shirts that I wear to bed or whatever, but I don't, I'm not a dress down type person. I'm not, I really don't have enough casual clothes. Like, everything I have is, like, dressy. I don't, I don't know. So maybe like some nice t-shirts or whatever. Um, what is your biggest fear? Snakes. That's my kryptonite. Snakes on TV, snakes in the magazine, snakes in the book. Snake next to me, I'm, I'm fainting. Uh, don't do reptiles. But snakes in particular. I, I dream about them. Um, they're evil to me. What is one thing you wish you could change about yourself? Um, when I'm like this, um, I don't know if, I mean, my lifestyle has been a little bit different than um, other women. Um, mostly all I already know that um, I was in the military and... Um, I was a truck driver and a lot of crazy weird things happened to me in combat and um, I haven't really been the same since. So um, I do suffer from extreme um, PTSD and agoraphobia and um, I don't like crowds and I'm just paranoid all the time and um, I guess, and I also suffer from bipolar disorder, so sometimes when I'm on my highs, I'm feeling great and euphoric and all that, and then out of the blue, sometimes I just feel low and pitiful like I do now, and sometimes it can last a day, sometimes it can last six months to a year. I don't know, but that's just how my life is. I'm keeping it real. <laughs> um... Yeah, so that's one thing I wish I could change, change about myself and not be so recluse. And uh, I'm very closed off. With you guys, I can chit-chat and talk away or whatever. But, I mean, I haven't really been in a lot of contact with my friends over the year. I've really just been to myself. And um, I tend to hurt people when I do that. But sometimes that's just how I am. It's not like I really mean to do things like that. But that's just me. Um, moving right along. Mm. What do you usually make a statement with? My whole outfit. And my whole outfit is about the way I'm, about how I feel. And I'm not just a one lane person. I don't have a particular style per se. It's all about how I feel. So I dress according to how I feel. Sometimes I could, you know what I'm saying, just, um, you know, be the around the way girl. I can go from that to sophistication to tomboy to, it's crazy, y'all. But my outfits are, you know, my statements. Um, what is something non-physical that you find attractive about your husband non-attractive oh something that's non-physical that I find attractive about my husband he's a talker he is a real charmer mm -hmm. he's charming so I, I guess I find he's an outgoing person. I am not outgoing. He's an outgoing person. He'll talk to anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. He's 
just chatting. Sometimes it's annoying because we could be out together or whatever and he might see somebody and just start chatting it up and I'm standing there like, really? I'm ready to go. But I mean, it is it, to me, it's attractive because he's a people person. He's a networker. Um, speak on haters. Um, why? I don't. I don't give haters that. What do you call them? I don't give them. You know, I don't give them my energy, so I don't speak on haters. Um. I keep it moving. Um, well, I can't say I speak. I, I don't speak on haters. I just hate them. I hate the haters. What is a pet peeve that you have with yourself? That I'm not sociable. It's funny because when you meet me, like if you don't know me and you're not in my circle or whatever and you see me like, when I was in the military, a lot of people who I've worked with for years, I never communicated with. And it wasn't because I, you know, didn't want to. I just, if I don't know you, I'm fine with that. I don't have to, you know, communicate with you. That's just one less person I need to communicate with. That just makes my life easy. And a lot of people that, when I was forced into a situation where I had to communicate with them or work with them, they were like, wow, I never thought you were as sweet as you are. I thought you were a bitch. <laughs> I got that all, I get it all the time. Because I am a hard-faced, you know, very um, unapproachable person. I get that all the time, that I'm extremely unapproachable. And really, I'm not. It's just, I'm focused, man. And sometimes, I just don't be... I don't know. I the less people I know, the better. That's just how it is. It's not like I, if I get in that situation where I, I have to get to know you or you know, that's cool. But you know, I'm not the type of person where you know I walk by you, and I have that urge to say hello, how you doing? And you look at me. I'm looking right back at you. Like what you looking at me for? I'm not gonna say hello to you. That is my pet peeve. But. <clears throat> That's all the questions that I that uh they had on this girly tag. I hope it wasn't boring. I just felt the need to come up to here and chit chat with y'all right quick because I haven't did it since forever. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.